skip it up and that up. Kathy Griffin is an American comedian that uh, likes to do some shock jock stuff. In my opinion, that's how she has remained relevant for as long as she has. I know she's a comedian. I know she tours and does things like that. But it's kind of the stuff that she does that keeps people talking about her. And what she did last May uh, is a perfect example of that. Now, Kathy Griffin, in case you didn't know, is not a fan of Donald Trump. Neither am I, to be quite honest with you. But how she expressed her disdain for Donald Trump had everyone collectively instantly go against her. It doesn't matter if you're a feminist or not a feminist, whether you were left or right when it comes to your political beliefs, everyone kind of joined together at one moment to go against Kathy Griffin. And the reason why that is, is she decided it was a brilliant idea. I guess she wanted to ride the anti-Trump wave that was building of posing in a picture with a realistic looking decapitated head of the current president, Donald Trump. It was amazing because, like I just said, you saw like Ben Shapiro, the Young Turks, Steven Crowder, and Kyle Kuklinski. Those are just some YouTube examples that I could think of right now. Uh, come together for one moment. Look at this picture that dumbass Kathy Griffin posted a picture of where she was holding a decapitated head of Donald Trump. And they all like said, yeah, we, we, doesn't, we all don't. That was a horrible idea. That was one of the dumbest fucking things you could have done. And we all condemn you for it. Doesn't matter whether, whether it was the Young Turks or Stephen Crowder or Ben Shapiro. It didn't matter. Everyone was like, what are you doing? It, that was terrible. And the consequences that you're going to deal with, honestly, you deserve. And ever since then, for obvious reasons, uh, Kathy Griffin has had a tough time getting interviews, being shown on TV, finding work, so on and so forth. And a couple days ago, she actually released a video on her official YouTube channel called A State of a Union Address, and she discusses what's going on with her in terms of her being blacklisted in Hollywood. And if you think she's going to apologize, nope. She does just about as much deflecting in this video as Kevin Spacey did in his Twitter apology. I have some snippets here, but if you want to see the full unadulterated video right from Kathy Griffin, I'll have a link below in the description. I want you to check it out just so you can see that I'm not taking what she said out of context. It's incredible. Enjoy this clip. It just... Wow. Hey, it's me, Kathy Griffin, and I'm doing um, what I call a State of the Union YouTube video. All right, so what I want to address today is I'm getting a lot of online hate from trolls who think I've lost my mind. And um, I'm admitting I lost my mind, It's so it made me a star in the first place. But I just want to be honest. like. As far as what we're going through and hoping this is a turning point for feminism and women's equality, I just want you to know that at 57, for me, it's not a marathon. It's a sprint. So I don't have a lot of time to be patient. And, you know, I read today that my pal Lena Dunham is sticking up for some male writer that was accused of sexual harassment. And her female partner, Jenny Connor, who Judd Apatow handpicked for her, and nobody's ever handpicked anybody for me, you know, I don't know the details, but my first instinct is, girl, that's not helping the movement. And it's a movement. I just want you guys to know, I'm fully in the middle of a blacklist. Like, I am in the middle of a Hollywood blacklist. When I get home, I do not have one single day of paid work in front of me. So I actually got another fundraising email from the great Norman Lear, and I just had to write back and go, yeah, none of you can ask me for money anymore. Okay, my legal bills are through the roof, obviously, because I'm doing something I really believe in. And I still say the end goal is for younger women and younger LGBT folks or disenfranchised people of any kind can watch me survive and with a sense of humor. There's a lot of forces coming against people like me that are trying to do something. I mean, look at Harvey Weinstein hired Kroll. By the way, Nick Kroll's dad started that company, Nick so he doesn't have to worry about money, and some company called Black Cube to like follow Rose McGowan. So, you know, I'm kind of assuming I'm next. I'm already on the Interpro list and all this other stuff. So I don't want anybody else to have to go through this. I only have seven more shows left on this tour, and I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be hard when I go home and I don't have one show in my future. I know I'm being an asshole, but no, I don't wanna do free shows. So I know I took a picture that offended a lot of people, but this wall of crap has never fallen on any woman in the history of America like it has on me. I still am so excited to hit the stage tonight. And I would love to be on a television show. And I want to be paid what the guys are paid. 
So that's where I'm coming from. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was the most pathetic thing I ever watched. Okay. I don't, I don't even know where to begin. I'm, I'm going to begin. But the first thing I want to start off with, because it pisses me off the most there, besides the fact that she's hiding behind feminism to like deflect what she did and hopefully people like oh you know she's defending feminism so don't worry about it you know her holding up a bloodied head of the current president is it's fine she's going after lena dunham who i'm no fan of she's one of those another extreme feminists so don't think i'm, I'm white knighting for lena dunham but I'm kind of agreeing with what Lena Dunham's doing here. She's defending her friend who is a writer in Hollywood who is being called out for he, he, someone saying that he sexually harassed somebody. She, what, what Kathy Griffin is saying here is it doesn't matter if, if said person did it. It's just that he's a male. He's being accused of sexual harassment. You're defending them. Even though it's he said, she said, he's not accused in court or anything like that. Don't defend him. Because you're, you're screwing up the movement. You're screwing up the feminism movement. We can't have that. If it's a man and he's accused of something, he needs to be buried. That's Don't tell me she isn't. that isn't what Kathy just said right there. If you don't believe my edited version of her video, go watch the original one. Nothing is altered from that. Nothing. Is, so she's saying it's about the... Forget ruining someone's reputation if they didn't actually sexually harass somebody they're male they have to be destroyed lena what are you doing the feminism moves movement's more important than someone's reputation come on now even if it is a lie he's a guy he has a penis don't defend him how dare you and kathy your whole i want to speak up for the lgbtq and and the feminist movement that's all well and good and oh so noble of you but can i ask you a question what in the living fuck does the feminism movement and the LGBTQ community have to do with you posing with a goddamn picture? You were in a picture with a lifelike replica of a decapitated head of the current president of the United States. What does feminism and LGBTQ community have to do with that? Explain. What does it have to do with it? You're doing the same shit that Kevin Spacey did a few weeks ago. He's like, oh yeah, you know what? I I, I think I, I I was almost blackout drunk, but I kind of remember sexually assaulting a 14-year-old boy. But you know what? I, I want to deflect from that, even though it'll technically throw the whole LGBT community under the bus because people already have that stereotype that, that they'll try to sexually assault kids in the bathroom. So you know what? I'm going to come out as gay now because it'll, hopefully that'll take attention away from the fact that I'm a sexual fucking deviant that could have possibly raped kids. So I'm going to come out of the closet. Hey, everybody. Yep, yep, yep. I sexually assaulted 14-year-olds. I'm, I'm a pedophile and a rapist. But you know what? I'm gay. I'm coming out of the closet. So applaud me for it. I'm Kevin Spacey. Hopefully it'll save my career. Luckily it didn't. But hopefully it will. She's doing the same goddamn thing. Oh, no other woman had to suffer like me in Hollywood. Kathy, let me explain something to you. If you were born with a 24-foot bionic penis and two-pound balls that are made of platinum, if you were the, the manliest of men and you did the same thing, you still would have been blacklisted. It has nothing to do with you being a woman. It has to do with you putting up a tacky picture with no context and you're holding up a beheaded replica head of the President of the United States with nothing else behind it. You did it for shock value and it backfired on you. If you were a guy and did the same thing, it would have had the same fucking reaction and you would be just as blacklisted. It had nothing to do with the fact that you have a vagina, you simpleton fucking idiot. And here's the thing too, and this is gonna be an assumption, I know this, and, and this is what bothers me the most, is God forbid there was a conservative and I'm, I'm, people consider me left. I don't know what the hell you want to consider me. If a conservative during the Obama presidency held up a replica decapitated head of President Obama, mark my fucking words, mark my words that Kathy Griffin would have been one of the, the first people to lose their shit over it and call for atrocities and say this person should be arrested and how it's going to undermine the Republic of the United States. But the shoe's on the other foot now. We have a Republican president. She thought she was riding the right wave with all her whole feminism movement and the fact that she everyone's anti-Trump. She thought it was going to help her career and it backfired. It backfired. And what annoys me is she won't apologize. See, the thing about it is 
I've made mistakes before too. I've said dumb shit. I've done dumb things, but I, I've owned up to them. Okay. I have owned up to them and said, look, that's something dumb. I'm going to try my damnedest to never, ever do it again. She's not doing that. That's the reason why you're being blacklisted, Kathy. You're, you're, you're doubling and tripling down. And then on top of it, you're deflecting and hiding behind a movement. If I was a woman right now or part of the LGBTQ community, I would hate Kathy Griffin. Because you know what she's doing? She's diluting your cause. For women out there who are truly sexually harassed, who deal with segregation at work due to, simply due to the fact that they're women, if they come forward and complain about it, or God forbid they're sexually assaulted or something like that, if they come forward to complain about it, Women like Kathy Griffin, who will throw them in front of a bus and hide behind their movement trying to save her ass and her career, then people will be like, oh, what are you trying to pull? Kathy Griffin? What are you trying to do? Boo-hoo. Okay, Kathy. They'll still like, make fun of her and call her that. That's why I lost my shit with Kevin Spacey, because he was hiding behind the fact that he was gay. And that, uh, so that stereotype is there where people think, oh, you know, gay people, you really go in a bathroom and there's a kid in there. You never know what will happen. And with him doing that, coming forward and coming out of the closet during the, when people are accusing him of sexual assault, it, it hurt the LGBTQ community. And she's doing the same goddamn thing. She's too much of a coward just to fess up and own up to what she did. She's trying to hide behind a movement, hoping that it'll save her ass. But luckily, I don't think it is. Kathy, you are truly, truly a shitty person. And the, the way you're acting now, your career can't be saved. And to be quite honest with you, even before this whole thing happened with Trump, your career was on death's door anyway. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's because of your continued support on Patreon that I'm able to speak my mind in videos like this, because I'll tell you right now, there will be no ad revenue on this video. And for those of you who are thinking about supporting the show via Patreon, there'll be a link below in the description, and you could pledge as little as a dollar a month. Any pledge helps, and thank you so much for your continued support.